Okay, we want to work with end of row. With end of row, what we're going to do is I'm ready to program. I've got everything set up. I'm comfortable. I like to do it with the implement down and in the ground. So to program it, what I've got is I've got this bottom button with the little red on it. I'm going to activate it. When I do that, I got an orange dot. I got a gray dot in here. It just tells me that the system is ready to program. So everything is ready. Now by doing the programming on the unit, the same procedure would hold true for a Magnum, a Stagger. If I'm dealing with mid-range tractors, Pumas, I have to hit the step switch before I start my sequence. So I got to think to myself, I can do it either dynamically or statically. So when I get to the headland, what am I going to do? Well, maybe the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this implement, then I'm going to raise my hitch, then I'm going to raise this unit, and when everything gets up and I'm back, I'm going to hit the step switch. By hitting the step switch, I've placed a pause in the unit, and that's allowing me to make up time. I could do everything in one complete turn, but this way I've got some time lapse so that I can adjust my sequence. Now when I'm getting ready to go back in, one of the nice features we can do on our tractors is we can engage guidance by using the step switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to engage guidance. When I engage the guidance scene, then I'm going to lower a remote valve, I'm going to lower the hitch and the other remote valve. And if I pause in here, I can adjust the time length that I've got. I'll try to do it relatively quick. So I'm coming off of the step switch, I'm doing guidance, I'm lowering the remote valve, I'm lowering the hitch, I'm lowering the other remote valve, and what I've got to do is let the implement get all the way down. Once it's down, I hit the same button, and this is going to save that sequence. That sequence will pop up, and it's saved as sequence 005. What I would suggest, if you don't have a Pro 700, that's the sequence that's on the tractor and it's ready to use. If you have a Pro 700, I would suggest that you go back, go to end of row, and go to sequence five and edit name. I believe that you should call that by possibly you, the operator's name, so I would delete that, and I, in my case, I would call it Roger and enter. That becomes my sequence for that implement. And now I can download that sequence and it should come back that it's successfully saved. And now I am ready to operate with that sequence. So what I have to do is turn the system on and my sequence is there. In order to play back on the sequence, we have got to be driving the tractor. I have activated the button, and by activating the button on the left, as you can see it flashing here, everything is ready to go. So now when I get to the headland, all I do is hit the button, and at that point, my hitch comes up, my remote valves are activated, and everything comes up, and the unit goes to pause. I turn around, I hit the button, my guidance will activate for myself, the hitch will come down, both of my revolts will be activated, and the system is ready to go for me going through the field. Okay, if you recall, there was an, I said that I like to program the unit with the implement down. The reason for that is, if you go back through the playback, and the operator, and you mess up, and let's say while it's raising, I pull a remote valve, I've got a double problem on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm manually going to have to put the implement down, do everything manually. Then I can come over here and turn the system off. When I turn it back on, I'm right back to go and I don't need to go through all of those symbols and understand what they all mean. Everything falls right back to work for me. If there's, an, if there's a fence roll or a waterway in the middle of the field, Maybe as I go through that waterway, I want to raise this implement. 
so I can manually raise it, go through the waterway, and then I can lower it, and I still have got my end-of-flow function active for myself. 